guys, um, it's me again, and uh, it's Friday, end of the week, I uh, finally got some time to post up a video, um, other than um, school, like, well, I, I officially just completed my first week of classes, and they were pretty good, um, I actually did meet, like, all my classmates, and we all, I guess, kind of are in a name-to-name -name basis. Um, haven't really talked to all of them, but there are a few that are pretty cool and I can um, I can easily talk to, I guess. Um, my classes are alright. I will admit I am behind in my readings already. Like, I haven't started reading anything and I have so much to read already. Um, Okay, I have to tell you guys, um, I was on a verge of a binge probably like not more than a couple hours ago. Um, it's like almost 8 o'clock right now at night and I came home around 5.45 starving because I haven't eaten for like 5 hours because I had a 4 hour like I had four hours straight of lab to do and I I hadn't eaten for like five hours and I, I just as soon as I got home as I got home I ran to the kitchen and well I didn't literally run but I went straight to the kitchen and um, warmed me up some rice and whatever food was on the table and uh, a little bit of seaweed salad from last night and I gobbled it up really quickly like I was just really hungry I couldn't really sit down and really enjoy the food at a decent pace but um, after that I really was not satisfied and I there was chocolate cake on the table because it was my aunt's birthday just yesterday and I didn't actually go, but um, my mom came home with some leftover um, cake and food. So I had that, and it wasn't a huge piece, but it was really uh, rich and chocolatey, and the icing was super sweet. And it was so good though, because I, re I honestly haven't had anything really sweet um, like for the past week and a half or almost two weeks now so I kind of just gobbled that up and then after that I really still was not satisfied so I ended up eating these almond like a pack of almond crackers there's probably like five like this this small like square crackers and there's probably like five crackers in each package but after that I still was not satisfied so I ate another one then after that, I had this chocolate, um, these chocolate flavored crackers. Um, and then after that, I had um, these uh, corn chips. Um, I didn't finish the bag, like I probably have, but I pr honestly, I think I probably had like a good four four or five handfuls of those and and then I had like um, four uh, pieces of milk chocolate um, that I or that I already had in my room and now I feel sick and I mean honestly I wouldn't classify that as a binge because I've I know what a binge is, I've had so many before, and that, I mean, compared to, like, what I usually binge on, that's, like, nothing. That, like, of course, that, to a normal person, that would be a binge, because that was probably at least 1,500 to 2,000, maybe even 2,500 calories right just now, or, no, maybe, like, around 2,000. Um, but normally I can have like double that and 
it just it lasts longer normally and I just keep going and I don't feel so like I don't feel the sickness as soon as I did now and I guess I guess that should that tells me that I've been good for the past couple weeks almost and my body's slowly starting to recover from my binges and I'm starting to like my body's starting to get used to eating smaller portions which is a really good thing so I guess out of this horrible little um, thing that I just did um, I realized that I've actually been really good for the past couple weeks so I am going to try my damn hardest not to be hard on myself for overeating I guess I'll call it um, I'm for sure done eating for the night um, on a better note I actually did work out not not all week but I did go on the elliptical on Wednesday for about like 45 minutes and then the next day I went for a jog slash walk mostly walk I'm like kind of out of shape again um, for about an hour on Thursday and well today I didn't do anything I had to wake up really early for my 8 o'clock uh, morning class so yeah and tomorrow I probably won't be able to either because I have work at 8 o'clock for 10 hour shift which is actually my last shift since I'm going to be stopping for school um, but good news I finally got my P90X uh, workout videos so I am definitely going to start that on Monday I promise I'm, I'm making this promise to you guys because I know if I don't I probably will just end up making up some excuse not to do it so I'm doing it um, I mean everything else has been okay I've I've been procrastinating with my schoolwork. I know I have been, and um, I know that that is gonna that has to stop. And I'm after this video, I'm probably gonna start opening my books up because I'm starting to feel really guilty. Um, oh, but quick thing, I learned I actually learned that procrastination is actually the fear of starting something, and I totally think that's true. Um, I've been afraid to start reading my books because I know that once I start I can't go back and I mean I guess it's a combination of laziness too and getting used to my schedule again but I I don't know it's just a combination of all of that stuff and um, another quickie I mean school's been great um, I'm kind of intimidated a bit with my lab group. Um, there's about six of us in our lab right now, or six or seven, and I I think I'm probably the slowest one, or at least the one who's not as educated or has a very good background um, with like material that I should probably already know because um, I'm so forgetful like after I finish a course I have a tendency to just um, like my memory of that entire year would be erased it's terrible but um, I don't know something I have to work on uh, but anyways I feel really like bad because today like as much as I want like I like I really want to participate in labs and we do get participation marks and I want to show that I'm eager to learn but it's really hard for me because most of the people in my lab are so quick on their thinking and just getting these answers and they just say it like without even thinking and by the time I get the answer like the answers are already said so I'm like too slow on that and I'm feeling a little bad about that and it's kind of stressing me out because I don't want the like our profs to notice and I don't know, I hope it's something I can work with this year. Um, anyways, I'm going to cut this short now because I'm running out of time. Thanks again for watching, sorry for being late, and I'll talk to you guys later.